Bob, you've uh, planned Commodity Classics in the past. Uh, how many times were you involved? I was involved for three years in, in planning the Commodity Classic. Uh, and my last year was 2013, which is not that long ago, but things have uh, really improved and it, it's an amazing farm show. The event's coming up in March this year for those that have not been. Kind of tell us what it's all about. Well, it's about basically the same thing as Minnesota Expo. It's uh, You do the resolution process, you figure out what the road map is going to be for American Soybean Association with all the states get together, and then you have a big trade show. It is huge. It, it is well, it seems like you walk miles and miles and miles when you get all the way around. It's, the, it's just amazing how many uh, people are displaying there. And then it's just like here. You go, you want to see people, and there is people there and farmers from all over, the, all over the world. I mean, they come from South America. They come from Canada. They come all over to see what's going on in the United States agriculture. So it's a good learning process. They have great learning sessions so that you can learn the the brand new stuff that is being introduced at Commodity Classic. There's literally thousands of people, right? Yeah, there's uh, roughly about 20,000 people there with, with exhibitors, farmers, and media, and everybody. There's probably closer to 10,000 farmers there. So it's a lot of farmers from all over the world. And as far as organizations go, I think there's some other organizations just besides uh Corn and soybeans. That's right. There's there's five organizations now. There's American Soybean Association, National Corn Growers, National Wheat Growers, National Sorghum, and now the Equipment Manufacturers Association is also a big part of the Commodity Classic. So for people that have not been, that thinking maybe New Orleans would be a fun trip, uh, what would you say to them? Go. I mean, you'll be amazed when you get there. You know, you might be overwhelmed for the first day. But you're going to learn so much when you're down there and have such a great time talking to fellow farmers and kicking new tires on a, on a new equipment that you might not see for a couple of years the way things are going. So it's nice to see all this stuff and, and learn a lot. I mean, you learn the new technologies. It's all going out at Commodity Classic. After not very many meetings over the past year for farmers, things have changed. Farmers are out and about, and Commodity Classic coming up in March is one of the biggest in the United States. This is Lynn Kettleson reporting.